Okay, hey, welcome back everyone. theCUBE's live coverage of RSA Conference 2023 in Moscone. I'm John Furrier, your host of theCUBE. Day two, kind of feels like day one. Day was yesterday, but this is day two. Full program, it's packed. Events are back, steady state. Got two great guests here. Abby Strong is the Senior Vice President of Customer Experience at Cribble. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations, and Daniel Bernard, Chief Business Officer at CrowdStrike. Good to see you guys. Thanks John, for coming on. Yeah. So, Perfect. Cribble, CrowdStrike, partnership. We got some news, let's get that out of the gate. Let's hear the news. Sure. Well, what's going on in the market is a lot of our customers, they're, they're on this XDR journey. How do I bring data into the platform? How do I use CrowdStrike for everything? Not just security use cases, DevOps use cases as well. And bringing data in with Cribble just is so much easier, so much faster. Bringing data in was a big struggle. We've been working with Cribble a long time. They're a Falcon Fund company. Uh, made an investment in them about a year and a half ago and they've really emerged as a leader in the market in terms of this data transit. And bringing data in with, with Cribble via our Falcon, our, yeah. our, our CrowdStream product, it's never been easier, yeah. it's never been faster, and it's fully integrated. Yeah, super excited. We've just been working together a long time, as you mentioned, really helping uh, CrowdStrike EDR customers get their data into legacy sims, and now with CrowdStream, we have a much easier way to get data into the uh, CrowdStrike Falcon. You know, what platform. I love about the news is that this is an example of where this market is right now. You have the explosion of new approaches and demand for the data, and it's got to be scalable and you know, extensible and reliable and easy to use. And this is like now the new table stakes, and the pressure's on. So, you guys bring that new product to the table. What made this work? What was the reason you guys, were you guys partnering? Can you expand on the relationship? Sure. I think some of the best partnerships, they actually start organically. And so if you look at the way data is moving and where it was moving, Falcon Platform, EDR data, very voluminous data, 70% of the data that we'd see in legacy SIM products was coming from CrowdStrike. How was it getting to these SIM products? It was going via Cribble. So it was really easy for us to listen to our customers and see, this demand for the Cribble technology, yeah. the differentiation in this observability pipeline, and for us to help route that right here into the data destination, which is our log scale product in the Falcon XDR platform. Yeah, we share a lot of customers in common already, and it was it was interesting seeing that you know grow from the field and then you know, even as they were starting to look at log scale and the opportunity that they have with that product and to hear them go, well can you help us move data into this product? And so we built a pack, made it really easy to move data over, yeah. and of course that turned into, well how do we get that inside the CrowdStrike interface to make it even easier for customers to- Take us uh, through how it works, because this is a big deal. I think, again, I've talked to the founders at Cribble many times when they started, they just build product, and then they, how do you, what's your go to We just go to customers, they got a problem, we just build it for them, yeah. and they actually working together. Uh, and now you got data that's large scale, the plumbing's there. Talk about how it works with CrowdStrike so people can understand the connections. Sure, so it starts like this, and we're going to do it, and we'll, we'll do it live so you see what a customer experience is. You log into our platform, there's a button. It says CrowdStream powered by Cribble. You click the button, and that starts your data journey of bringing the data in. That's where Cribble comes into play. Yeah, and so customers can choose, we have a very easy and intuitive interface with a thousand integrations for all the different source types that they might have, and it allows us to, uh, for customers just to immediately go, what which sources am I interested in moving into the Falcon Log Scale platform, and then, you know, just literally drag and drop and say, send it to, to Log Scale now, and we'll automatically process, parse it, forward it, um, and then format it in the right way so we can land it there. That's so easy. We're done. Yeah. I mean, okay, <laughs> okay, that's a wrap, guys. No, I mean, that, that's, that's kind of the way it's supposed to be. Okay, what's the impact of customers? Are you guys going to go to market together? Talk about the relationship. Sure, what's sure. What's the plan? So, we're going to market together, but what makes this really, really wonderful for our customers, we've got over 26,000 customers and great for Cribble, is we make it so easy, like you said. What's the big barrier to XDR? The big barrier to XDR is, okay, you got the CrowdStrike data, that's endpoint, that's cloud, that's, that's workload, mm -hmm. that's identity. Explain XDR real quick before. Sure, so XDR, it really starts with where we were with EDR, Endpoint Detection and Response, and CrowdStrike pioneered, created, owns the EDR category. Endpoint, you want to do prevention, detection, and response. So the D and the R is detection and response. Yeah. How do you keep an endpoint safe? Today that's EDR. Enterprises are sitting there saying, wait, we want to do it beyond the endpoint. We want this protection layer, this visibility layer across everything. And that's where we start getting into data that and, and attack surfaces that aren't CrowdStrike, and that's where the X comes in, extended detection and response. So if you're if you're trying to move to XDR, it really becomes more of a data-based, a data-defined yeah. problem. How do you get the visibility over the data? How do you bring it to one place? And we are the one place 
And in order to be the one place, we need to make data in yeah. really, really easy. Well, first of all, I want to say congratulations to CrowdStrike. We follow a lot of the public stock metrics. Dave does, like, like you read about, Dave's much more on that. But the metrics are all doing great on the business side, so congratulations. This, working with other companies has become a connection business. Where API's in the cloud, data connects to data, people are working together, clean rooms are being discussed everywhere you talk about. So, this is like a connector on steroids, it seems like. Is that kind of oh, what I'm saying? A little bit. I mean, at the heart of it, Cribble is an integrations company. And so, what we spend our time and attention is on where, where is all of the data, and then how do we get it to the various destinations. And in, in this case, specifically log scale, but really we were formed yeah. to help customers overcome this problem. Data is growing at a 25% yeah. CAGR. That means in five years you're going to have 250% <laughs> more data that than you have today. By the way. And uh, and m a lot of it's coming from EDR, if we're being quite honest. As you said, 60 to 70 percent. And so, how do you get in front of that? Make sure that you can put it where it needs to go. And then once you have that, yeah. as as the um, the gravity that comes yeah. with that amount of data, how do you get your other data in there? Where's your firewall data? Where's your, um, you know, where, where are inputs from other parts of the business it's that like, you can use to solve it's like problems? like filling up the gas tank, you just go pump yep. it in. So what's the use case, what's, what's the driver here? More visibility into more data for all those solutions you guys are driving? Is the customer saying, I have bespoke data, is they have a tool, are they replacing something? What's the driver, what's the motivation sure. behind the connection? So the number one driver for what we do, we want to stop the breach, and you stop the breach by having the right data set at the right time mm -hmm. and being able to action the data in real time. So the log scale product, instant search capability, long-term data retention, and it's quite affordable and efficient to do that, which everybody in this market's looking yeah, for, the it. affordable and efficient button. But zooming out a little bit, I think what we hear from customers is a lot of pain points around legacy SIM products. Yeah. It's too expensive, it takes too many people to operate, getting data in, getting data out, too difficult. And frankly, that's a lot of the reasons why Cribble was created in the first place as well. There's got to be a better way. Yeah. So I think we're going to see that whole SIM market evolve in a very material way as XDR and SIM really collide. Um, and that creates a lot of opportunities for customers to have a more efficient way to do security and beyond as well as a place to yeah. uh, re retain, yeah. store, manage, search, all these different things yeah. they want to do. Keep an eye on the data, it's awesome. Um, what's, I want to talk about the partnership again before we go into some of the observability trends. One of the big discussions this event is the collaboration between companies, not just on sharing information, but actually working together like this. Um, can you comment on how you see that evolving? Is it going to be, we're going to see more of that? And, and, and what's the best practice uh, on partnering? So CrowdStrike, we're, we're, we're really on this EDR, this EDR to XDR transformation. And what's nice about XDR is it's a team sport. We can't do it alone. It's not just about the attack surfaces that we protect at CrowdStrike. It's also about integrating with other third-party products. And hundreds of companies work with CrowdStrike. We, we're really becoming a, an ecosystem within cybersecurity. So better together, I mean, yeah. when we all work together, our customers get a better cybersecurity outcome. That's faster security, that's more simple security and it yeah. all starts and ends with the data. And if we yeah. don't bring in the data, they don't get the result, the yeah. benefit, and the ease of operation from all these different products. More well, data, more scale. You can't get to full XCR without you know, all these additional data sources. Yeah. And so when we talk about partnering, like we're all about choice. Customers should choose yeah. where do they want their data to go, yeah. which tools. All of the tools that end up in an environment were chosen for a reason. We yeah. want to give them the ability to have those. And then once they've made a choice, then they said, we're buying into this XDR journey. We want this ability to do this. Yeah. Well then the next step is, how easy can we make that so that they yeah. don't have to replace you know, fleets of agents on, on non-CrowdStrike devices? And we've and heard things. so many stories, even on theCUBE, from frustrated CISOs that's yeah. saying, look, I'm buying these other tools, I got a lot of retro coding going on, I got a rewrite code. Parsers. Stuff yeah. breaks. It's in a, here. I won't say, because we're, we're PG-13 here on theCUBE today, <laughs> unlike yesterday. Um, <laughs> so, okay, partnerships are cool. And let's talk about observability. It's a hot category, continue to emerge. Been overfunded, we see some consolidation, this market, but with more data coming in and more services being deployed, especially in cloud native and edge, there's more need for better observability. So what's the vision that you guys see, uh, and certainly with AI and machine learning, more code will be generated. So more code will be flooding into the networks. Um, so what's going to watch that? Who's going to observe the observability and get the whole AI discussion? So we're anticipating that's going to change the game on observability. What, what's your angle on that? 
So I think from a data perspective, as I mentioned, you know, 250% more data in the next five years than you had today. And so you keep seeing this data growth, but what do you do with it? Because a lot of data, does, especially the telemetry data that we're focused on, which is how mm -hmm. do we solve problems for the, the data that's coming from all these applications. You know, you have a transaction online, you book a plane ticket or yeah. something. That looks like one transaction, but behind the scenes, there's hundreds of things that folks are watching. How fast did that website respond? Yeah. How, like, did my services actually work? And you'll see all of this coming and it's just con constantly growing. And so what Cribble does and what observability is about is saying that data, it may have near zero value until it is the most valuable data yeah. because something happened and you have to be able to get to it. So if you're going to stay in front of that, how do you figure out yeah. where are those nuggets of gold, what is actually valuable to you, and yeah. observability as a trend, or as yeah. a, a market category, is really about how do I ask questions of data that I didn't anticipate yeah. before because I didn't even know that data was going to be valuable yeah. until yeah. there was a problem. Yeah, it, the, the data geeks got, you know, if they hoard the data, they, they keep it around, or they build products. Uh, you got to be proud of Pretty Cribble right now. It's, it's, it's pretty It's amazing. been an amazing journey. It's yeah. revolutionary. Yeah. revolutionary. Yeah. But yeah. the destinations where people are putting yeah. their data, that's yeah. what's changing too. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's where having an XDR platform that can ingest it, that can sustain yeah. it, maintain it for years, that makes it instantly available, easy to search, affordable. Mm -hmm. You get a lot more value out of the data that Abby's talking about yeah. that you didn't need until that one moment when there was a suspicious this event. This team sport angle is interesting. I want to get your thoughts. You guys have had news lately. What's update on the XDR? What's the, what's, what's the latest on, in CrowdStrike? What's the momentum look like? Sure. So, Lots of things going on at CrowdStrike. We have uh, 23 modules on the platform that are doing things well beyond endpoint. So helping customers secure their cloud, helping customers secure identity. That's a really hot, fast growing space in the market. Yeah. Uh, also the log scale product that we're talking about, that XDR backend, very interesting. This week we just announced a managed XDR where it's a service wrapper that our partners deliver as well as we deliver mm -hmm. uh, for customers that want to operationalize and use, MD, uh, that use XDR. That's integrating multiple other point products or other platforms into the CrowdStrike experience. So we're here yeah. really living and breathing this team yeah. sport, making it a reality. We're not just talking about yeah. it, we're doing it. And, and that's the, and the thing that you guys do, and the numbers are obviously on the performance on the business side is great, but the industry, it, there's some fat that can, needs to be cut. And we see some yeah. areas that, that need to be kind of, okay, move to the side, let's let, the, let, let it go to the next level. And I think the data piece is huge. Big endorsement with CrowdStrike. Again, great relationship. Congratulations on Cribble. Thank you. And say Super hello to the exciting. team over there. Um, at Clinton and everybody, so, you know. Yeah, we will do, I know, great. we really enjoy our time on theCUBE. Yeah, you guys are awesome, and, and CrowdStrike, we'll see you at the event. Uh, what else is new in, uh, at, at the company? The event coming up, put a plug in. We have Falcon coming up, that's where the security ecosystem, we're not just here at RSA, everybody's coming all over yeah. again and doing it at Falcon, where we're becoming that defining event of security. Yeah. Hundreds of our tech ISV partners, our service provider partners, our MSP partners, and of course, yeah. thousands of customers will be there too. Yeah. So and the we'll be there too. He awesome. will be yeah. there. All and right. on, our, on our journey to get to 26,000 customers also, we are also having our very first CrippleCon this year, so it's, it'll be in July in Las Vegas. Okay. Um, so, wow. you know, this will be the, we'll hope, we're hoping for hundreds. So, well, you know, you remember, you know. We, gotta, <laughs> gotta, we love to go to the or, um, original events. We've been to every DockerCon, even virtual, when they started. So maybe CrippleCon could be a nice trend. You know, present at creation, that's the big cube motto. When a you know, first event comes out, you got to keep us in mind, we'll come over. I, yeah. uh, we will talk after <laughs> the show. You got to start at CrippleCon, <laughs> then come to Falcon, and then uh, we'll see you at both All places. Right. Yeah. Abby, thanks for coming on, I appreciate it. Okay, yeah. more action, this is the news action here at RSA. This is where the game is changing, it's evolving, security's getting, uh, I would say, not a mulligan, but they're taking it to the next level as super cloud, as super apps come out, more data, all, all happening here with CrowdStrike here at theCUBE. Thanks for watching, we'll be right back after this short break. <laughs>